Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Brandon Pope and we're here starting off the midnight hour with Notre Dame senior Molly Lim. Not only is Molly a star in the classroom, she's holding down three majors and she's got a 3.96 GPA, but she's also serving the community and doing it in a big, big way. Molly, thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate having you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, all right. Well, let, let's talk about this 3.96 GPA of yours. Uh, first of all, where'd you slip up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I think it might have been uh, intro to philosophy freshman year. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, hey, I, I think 3.96 is impressive either way. I mean, that's something I definitely could not pull off. What are your majors? Um, I'm pre-med in the College of Arts and Letters, Sociology and Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Little Espanol. Okay. I, did yep. a little, I, did, I was a Spanish minor, so uh, right. that's pretty cool. Did you get a chance to study abroad at all? I did. I went to Puebla, Mexico the fall of my junior year, and I really loved that a Oh, lot. that is awesome. It's good to have experiences like that. Yeah. Now, now, tell me about your work with cancer patients in, in South Bend, Indiana. What are you doing for them, and how did you get involved? Um, okay, so I work at Riverbend Cancer Services, and I've been there for about two years. Riverbend is a local nonprofit serving cancer patients, their families, and caregivers um, with supportive services. So it's not a doctor's office or anything, it's just um, people helping people. And uh, I started there as an intern, but soon after that, uh, we realized that we needed to be able to help our clients with transportation. So I started a transportation program there. Um, about a year ago now, we launched it, and I've been running it ever since. Now, are you yourself driving these patients? No, <laughs> no, no. Um, that's kind of the beauty of the program is that I've been able to incorporate all kinds of types of support for our patients so that I can give them whatever works best for them. So gas cards, bus passes, um, private medical transportation company rides, public transportation rides, um, pretty much anything that I can offer them, whatever is going to be the least stressful and get them to their treatment on time. No doubt. That's pretty impactful work. Yeah. It's so <laughs> how many people has this served so far? Um, I think we've helped about 150 so far, but it's it's growing still. So now here's what I, this is. This is a really big question here. How do you even find the time to sleep <laughs> when you've got <laughs> all this stuff going on on top of applying for med schools and things like that? Um, you know, I don't sleep a ton, I can't lie, but um, I think it's easy when I remember the fact that I have this chance to help people, like sick people, which is what I want to do for the rest of my life, and I'm able to do it right now, and I just feel lucky and blessed, and that's more important than anything else. That's awesome. Molly, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having really me. really appreciate you having, you having you here. 